That's not gonna work. Uh, yeah. It must be broken. I've gotta get a helping hand here. First, though, let's go back to that boat. I think we might be able to pick up that ore now. That's gonna be good to use. <clears throat> It's a shame this boat's been left to rot. Yes, yes, I now know. Now it's full of holes. It's a shame this boat's uh, been left to rot. Oh, you're not gonna let me pick up the ore? Now it's full of holes. Oh man. I got nothing in here to help me. Oops. Okay. Then let's run back up here and see if Momo will help us. Momo. I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Topic help. Can you help me, please? What do? Help me open the dam. Um, Momo strong. Okay. We can go get that ore. Oops. No. Oh. That looks broken. Yeah. Use it with there. It may be that it wouldn't let me pick up the dan the ore because we need that broken lever. She's gonna say the same thing, isn't she? Nope. She's gonna go ahead and pick it up. I'll try. I could use one of the oars from this boat as a lever, but how am I ever going to get a hold of it? Why? By using the broken lever, of course. Of course, you could just wade in and grab it, but I guess Kate would drown in Ugh. two inches of water. That oar is all dirty and wet. The point is? That oar is all dirty and wet. What? You're not gonna let me pick it up now? I got nothing to use to otherwise. Ugh. That ore is all oh, dirty and wet. Stop being such a girl. Let's see if Momo will pick it up. Momo. I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Help I've again. moved the ore nearer. Be a good boy and carry it for me. Momo <sighs> say yes. You're a deplorable Kate Walker. You don't want to get your hands dirty, so you convince a poor little slow boy to pick it up and move it for you? Ugh. All because you don't want to get wet. You're deplorable. Something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Dam. Can you help me, please? What do? What I need do? a hand opening the dam. Momo say yes. Momo strong. Hey, 
There we go. <laughs> Momo, very strong. Thank you, Momo. Okay. Now let's go back down that other path. Now it's accessible. And here is the cave. There's the... There's the... paintings. And there's the mammoth. Go ahead and leave the cave and head back to town nothing else here. Now let's go talk to Oscar. Yep, phone. Hello? Kate? Is that you? Well, yeah, who did you think it was? Uh, I didn't recognize your voice, that's all. Must be the distance or you something. You called? No. Spill the beans! What's Europe like? You lucky lady, you. Honestly, I never get that kind of break. Well, so far all I've seen of Europe is this tiny village, and frankly, they're not very hospitable. Uh, the whole case is getting really complicated. There's this surprise heir I've got to find. I know. I talked to Lynn who bumped into Josh and she had coffee with the head honcho this morning. He didn't sound at all happy. The client's meeting him tomorrow, and when Marston tells him that the sale's not even gone through yet, whoa, you're gonna be pleased you're on the other side of the ocean when that bomb goes off. <laughs> yeah, I get the picture. But so, how about yourself? What's up at work? We lost the Sarah Lou trial. I worked Aww. five months on that dumb case. I remember. So, for a bit of therapy, I went to Boomies. The sale started yesterday. Wow, lucky. It was absolutely crazy, Katie. Absolute mayhem. You know that blue silk top I wanted? Guess how much I got it for. I don't know. 250 200 $140. <laughs> Just get yourself back here and I'll go down for a with top. you. <laughs> like it's my I know choice. it's Bloomingdale's, I gotta which go is like a high-end shop. Huh? It's I want still. a blow-by-blow account of every moment of your great adventure. I'm not spending more than get 10 15 here. bucks on a t-shirt. Look after yourself. You too. Yeah, I just don't I understand women going shopping for clothes. Now, video games and electronics, on the other hand, that I can understand. Oh. Send me out on a shopping spree to Best Buy or GameStop, and I'll buy out the whole place. That same with Borders, too. <laughs> Quite often, I walk into those stores for one thing, I, and I come out with ten. Okay, back to town. Got the doll. We've almost got. Well, we don't have the music box quite yet. We'll still have to pick that up. But we need our conductor for the train. Okay, back in town to the factory. Keeping an eye on my time, I only like to record for two hours. That way I hopefully don't get too stale with my commentary. Okay, here we go. We want the first spoke on the left. Uh, where is that room, though? 
I know I missed it. Okay. Oh, here's why. I didn't go over here. Yes, hello? Kate, what happened to you, my poor munchkin? I've been trying to contact you for hours. Because I hadn't I'm found this area yet. I'm in Europe, job thing. What? Europe? My God. Oh, I've got such happy memories of Europe. Some of them even involve your father, but <laughs> uh, that's enough of that. Tell me, where are you? Paris? London? Venice? Valadilene, yeah. <laughs> I know, it's a bit out in the boonies. What in the world are you doing out there? You know, business. I've got to see through the takeover of some old family business that's got a few debts. It's a really charming place, but there's one or two weird things going on here. I, I can't go into it now. Oh, well, that's right. Your old mother's too dumb to understand it. You really do take after your father sometimes. Mother. Kate, you'll never guess who I saw yesterday? No, I won't. Ma who? I haven't got a lot of time, you know. Frank! Ma, please. I've got to go. Frank! Frank Malkovich, the Russian opera singer. Well, really? maybe you don't remember him. He was quite a star in his day. Listen, Ma, I really don't have the time. I'll call you back. He is as charming as he always was. We spent the... Mom, I really have to go. I'll call <laughs> you back, I promise. Lots of love. Kate! <sighs> Never a good thing to have to hang up on your mother. I don't know what we're doing it's with really this yet. Heavy. I've got to get some help. Obviously we'll need this guy, but let's not worry about that quite yet. We still don't know what we're doing in here. That was the canister I brought in from the station outside. Whoa, we got somebody hanging up here. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can let him down. This is Oscar. Let's go talk to him. Say hello. Hi, Oscar. Oh, many thanks indeed. I am most embarrassed for you to see me like this. I lack a certain completion. You see, nobody here found the time to polish off the finishing touches. Honestly, these days, we really have lost the art of good workmanship. Yep. Uh, yeah, maybe. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Could you please state your identity, articulating clearly? My name is Kate. Kate Walker. Allow me to introduce myself. I am model XZ2000. My common name is Oscar. I represent the technological zenith of this factory's production. I have been designed to drive a locomotive. A touch messy, but an essential task. Okay. Have you logged my first and last name? Perfectly. Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you. Mm, nice to meet you, too. Me, too. Uh, model XZ2000. Just call him Oscar. Please. All my friends call me Oscar. This fad for cryptic names is such a bore. Could you imagine being called by your passport number? I suppose not, Mr. Oscar. Sir. I don't even have a passport, so... Do you know where I could find the factory paperwork? Which I already I cannot did. reply to this question with precision. Try Anna Vorlberg's office above the machine floor. 